here today, you're in the, the top 25%. We're consciously doing things. We're learning new patterns. That doesn't come easy and it takes a lot of energy and focus. So just like this journey, when we're starting out, no matter where we are in our journey, we're going to be learning new things. On how you think, how you feel. So this is probably going to be one of the most important uh, modules of all. So please do take time to talk about it in your upper circles, go through it, um, and then continue your learning as well, because your mindset is something that's going to really serve you, especially when times get tough. If you are not putting in the effort, yes, I'm going to fire you, because I have limited results and we can't carry people. And it's like a paddling in the waka, everyone needs to paddle together. So as you would have just seen, um, so that is Kahal Ite Ao program uh, run through Te Whare Huka Huka and uh, 200 plus scholarships were um, granted and I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of those 200. Uh, so over the next three months, I will be in this space learning about business and um, e-commerce and along with all those beautiful people and um, Every week for the next three months, we will be uploading and sharing our, um, our takeaways. Um, so for this week, we had a guest speaker. Uh, that was Sister B from Wairo, Bernita Tahuri. She shared on her, on her success. She shared on her success. The three um, takeaways that I like from Sister B, I just like to keep it quite simple. Um, don't compare yourself to others. Um, with all your awesome ideas that you have for business to start up in, um, narrow it down and just choose one product. And number three is don't wait for it to be perfect. Just, you know, get it out there. And, and as you go along, gradually, um, you know, start to perfect it and start to, you know, take on the, you know, good criticism that can help you to make it better. Um, so it was a good teaching, good lesson. Uh, thank you, Sister B. I will see you back here for the next video on um, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Hey everyone, so I am here with my last video for the week, uh, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Uh, we have learned this week that our mindset is the key to achieving our goals and um, here is why. So having a fixed mindset um, is almost like being in a negative space. You don't like challenges. You don't like um, those lessons that come up that challenge you. Uh, you see other people's success as a threat to you or to your business or to your product or to you individually. Um, you find that people's criticism or negative remarks is... Um, you don't like to utilize that to make things better. Instead, you just you ignore those useful remarks, those useful criticisms. Um, I find that having a fixed mindset would stop me from growing, would keep me in a stuck place. It wouldn't allow me to grow. It wouldn't allow me to overcome. It'd be like riding a bike, but you don't want to ride it in case you fall or fail. So I think, um, you know, having a fixed mindset, you definitely don't like to fail. Whereas having a growth mindset, you fail forward. Um, you take on every challenge and you embrace those challenges so that you're learning, you're growing, you're um, attaining new skills, new tools, and you're able to learn from everything that comes your way. And I think that's just... Um, such an awesome mindset to be in you're adaptable you're adaptable to changes you know um, life isn't a straight line it's up and down and around and around and so to have a growth mindset I think would be um, just such a safe mindset to be in because you're always growing you're always ready for the challenge at hand and you're ready to grow and overcome all those obstacles that come your way so um, there's my take for uh, having a fixed mindset versus having a growth mindset. 
I definitely know where I want to be. The last thing I want to share on is a video that we watched from Dr. Bruce Lipton. He talked about, um, you know, from your mother's womb to your first seven years of age and how crucial that time is. That is a time that we are programmed. It's the time that we learn how to walk, how to talk, how to, you know, be a part of a family. It's a time where we learn what's right and what's wrong, what's hot, what's cold, all those things. It's our crucial time that we are programmed into being who we're going to be for the rest of our lives. Yes, of course, we can change things down the line, but there's a saying that's been around for over 400 years. Show me the boy at seven and I'll show you the man. Isn't that so intriguing to know? He talks about reprogramming and that... Um, if you don't like some things in your life, you can re reprogram those things. He says that over 66 days, if you repeat um, the action over and over again, after 66 days, you have created a new habit. And that's how you reprogram um, the things that serve you as a person, as an adult today. So it's been an awesome time of learning, an awesome week of learning with our um, kaho our team and hey if you want to look into more about reprogramming uh, google dr bruce lipton um, awesome learnings and i look forward to sharing more with you next week all right peace guys